who benefits if this deal does not happen which country benefits if india does not have cutting edge technology that's a question we'll seek answers to but i also want to bring abhishek bhalla into this conversation shift stay with me what more do we know especially on tech transfer and pricing abhishek it appears as shiv was also telling us as this government document puts out india is not paying more but you know when you talk about a drone deal what we require may be very different from what any other country may require so is there if i may a comparison being made between apples and apples and apples and oranges or the same half truths that were being peddled during the rafale deal perhaps to scuttle that deal the aircraft that i have so desperately wanted abhishek well, Gaurav, uh, sources in the government uh, have uh, clarified and uh, given a rebuttal to uh, the allegations uh, made by the Congress party uh, regarding uh, the drone deal uh, with U.S. Now, some of the key components uh, of this uh, uh, clarification, or if we can call it a rebuttal, is one, uh, that uh, there are uh, several uh, aspects uh, that relate to transfer of technology uh, with this drone deal. So it's uh, not just uh, uh, the uh, fighter jet engine uh, deal that HAL uh, has signed where uh, technology transfer has happened, uh, but also in this drone deal. And uh, what uh, government sources are saying is that the kind of uh, technology transfer that is being made uh, will also uh, facilitate and ensure a platform for indigenous manufacturing of uh, these drones with in India and in fact out of the 31 drones 21 will yes. be manufactured in India so that's a big Assembled boost in India, yes. uh, to indigenous manufacturing and uh, sources also saying that uh, DRDO will get a big boost uh, with this knowledge that they get uh, with the transfer of technology so these are some of the key areas that the government uh, is uh, responding to also uh, very uh, significant is the fact that the government is uh, stating uh, that uh, in fact uh, the pricing is much less uh, than what uh, the, the, the what other countries uh, have got okay. uh, when it comes to these drones uh, the, ac according to uh, the government uh, uh, each drone costs uh, a, a little over 800 uh, crore whereas other countries have got it for more than 1200 crore yes. uh, so you know this uh, gives an answer uh, to uh, to the congress uh, uh, allegation uh, that India is purchasing uh, drones at a higher price. Uh, so a, a detailed uh, rebuttal uh, from uh, the government okay. on this aspect, uh, but obviously uh, politics uh, is not going to die uh, very soon it seems and we'll have to wait uh, for the opposition uh, to come up with another, another set of allegations probably. No, and, and questions must be asked. We are a democracy and opposition must ask questions. That's essential. But when it comes to issues of national security, Shiv, first the Rafale, then the Predators. What do these platforms mean for the Indian Armed Forces, Shiv, given the situation along the LC and the LAC? Do these, do these platforms become a major force multiplier for the country? There, there's no doubt about it, Gaurav. Uh, India needs uh, greater surveillance assets and uh, uh, you know, the predator-type drones offer that kind of capability, especially the ones that India is hoping to acquire through this deal uh, because the, the, kind of, uh, the kind of surveillance gaps, the kind of uh, manpower involved in 24-hour surveillance uh, is a hugely cost-intensive in exercise. And the kind of capability that the, uh, the MQ-9B drones uh, uh, you know, bring to the table uh, is something that the Indian Navy has already been getting a taste of through two leased drones absolutely. over the last, uh, you know, over the last three years. So uh, uh, it's a game changer in many ways. Also remember that both Pakistan and China have Chinese, uh, you know, long-range, mm -hmm. high-altitude yeah. drones already in operation. So this is a gap that India has been trying to fight for a very, very long time. Also, don't forget, Gaurav, that we're talking about this drone deal now, but it hasn't been signed. It's probably a far, uh, you know, far distance from being signed, and it's been seven years since it was when Manohar Parikar was the Raksha yes. Mantri when the initial proposal actually went out. Uh, so it's been seven years. On the issue of cost, it has gotten stuck. And now you've got politics as well, which may very well, as you and I both know, delay a decision even God further. Forbid. So, God you know, forbid. That's, that, that's how things stand.